Hi there, we are supposed to learn love through this practice in this chapter. We are supposed to draw something like this and then I'm gonna give you its explanation. So after that, we learn the loft. We can use the extrude node when we have only one shape to give dimension. But when we have a lot of shapes, we cannot use the extrude node anymore. So what should we use here? We should use loft. All right, let's make this number of rectangles, which, which they are getting smaller gradually. And then at the end, we use loft. There is no special point for loft itself. You just give it shapes and then it connects them. All right, let's do this practice together. We have some rectangles here on X axis which are getting smaller gradually and at the end they turned into a volume. After searching rectangle, uh, it needs a plane. For this, you should right click, search plane, all right, by origin normal, okay? And I'm gonna give it to plane. Now this plane is origin, in fact, a point. Hence, we get to make its points. Uh, right points by coordinates in this direction uh, See as you can see here. All right So here we say that from 0 to 30 Yes, with the steps of one by one if you want to give it a number instead to know its accuracy um, for example uh, 20 yes uh, I'm gonna give it to X. It's a little bit too much. I'm gonna give it 10, okay? If we give it to plane, it makes some planes for us. We don't want these planes on this way. We want them to be on X axis. So here we need vector X axis and I'm gonna give it to normal. So how did it happen? We said that the rectangle needs a plane and our plane needs a point and then after that uh, we draw it if you get better at this little by little you would do it very faster than now so first of all you put points then through the points you make planes and after that you make rectangles on the planes now we should adjust these rectangles width and length through code block for example, we say from 10 to 1 with number of, uh, for example, and no, let's make it 10, okay? And to avoid wasting time, I give it to both of them. Now I just need to connect these rectangles with which order exactly? Absolutely loft. Uh, right click here then search loft all right uh, yes loft as you can see loft is like extruding we have a normal loft and the other one is a solid one which its explanation says create a solid by lifting between input cross section closed curves if it is closed, you can use both this one and this one. But if it is open, you can only use the normal loft. This was a point which was for extruding as well. Uh, well, let me show you the difference, okay? As you can see, their icons are different. See? It's not like this in the previous versions. In the previous versions, you may only find out the difference by which one is solid and which one is surface. Okay, I'm gonna connect this to this one. It's really simple. There is no special job to do, you know. As you can see, it's open. But if I connect this uh, to this one, yes, you can see it's closed now. Now it's a solid closed volume. Well, this part was simple. But its practice may be complicated and hard. And now I'm gonna give you another practice to work on. 
From this time forward, when our lesson is short, I'm gonna give you a practice after that. And then you practice it uh, in term of a lesson. In this chapter, we had not some special lesson but loved, which was simple. But the next practice that I'm gonna give you this, uh, all right, now this one here. Maybe apparently it seems hard, but it's not. It's so simple. You may think why there are two pictures here. Because I want you to draw it in a way that it can be slanted. All right, let me bring its code, okay. And let me show you which of its options are parametric. And then I will give you a hint as usual. Well, this is the length which makes our shape slanted. In fact, this is the distance of this point from the center. Yes, this point from the center, okay? The height is so clear, which is the height of this end point from the center. And the number is clear too. And for rotation amount, let me make this zero and for this one make it bigger for height okay i didn't say here round number two rounds one round whatever i said rotation amount that is your choice you can turn it into number of rounds instead of putting the number itself you can put n times 360 degrees Naturally, this practice is made of some rectangles, which they have been set in height. We need some planes and points, which they should be in height. So you should pay attention to the points, to the tips that I told you. It's really important. With, uh, yes, with this one, we can control the rotation. For example, I say from zero to some numbers, and the numbers that we make between them should be as many as the rectangles that we want to give the numbers to them. All right, see you.